13 first alert weather forecast. Welcome back. It's 12 minutes after six and yesterday in Eau Claire specifically, we did get some heavier rates of rainfall and got about three quarters of an inch in total 0.7 uh, to be exact. Now this is the official National Weather Service measurements that we got. Otherwise, as far as where we are for the month, about a half inch above where we should be. Now this factors in. Of course, we had some uh, very heavy rates of rainfall, but we also had some dry days in the mix. But when looking at where we are for the year, we are well above where we should be by about three and a half inches. Now that does factor in some snow melt from earlier this year as well, as we have received 22 inches just over that of moisture for the year thus far. And we are expecting more chances at a few showers and storms later today as a front rolls through. Now we do have one more day of humidity to put up with, but we'll start to see that decline as this very comfortable air mass moves in uh, later on behind the front. And again, that'll lead to dew points in the 50s, temperatures that'll be on the cooler side of average for tomorrow. But then we do have a little bit of a warm up taking us into the end of the work week, still pretty seasonable. But by this weekend, that's where we have temperatures climbing to the upper 80s and for some of us, potentially low 90s. But we do have a few shower and storm chances that may uh, tamper that chance at hitting 90 degrees as well. Looking at our Nicolay Bank Sky Cam over Hastings Way to kick us off this morning. We do have some cloud cover. There have been a few areas that have seen a little bit of patchy fog, but not nearly as dense as a lot of us saw yesterday. Temperature is going to stay in the upper 60s for most of the morning as we are in the mid 60s right now. 66 in Eau Claire, Winona and La Crosse. A little bit cooler off towards the north where dew points are also a little bit lower. Winds mostly out of the north right now, anywhere from about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And again, dew points hanging out in the mid 60s. That's where we can expect them to hang out for most of the day. There's the remnants of those showers and storms pushing further towards the southeast. In its wake, we have had just a few clouds, or we've had clouds hanging around, but things have stayed quiet for us. Not too far to our west, though, that's where we have some showers and storms, mostly moving across central Minnesota, but off towards the eastern half of the Dakotas in western Minnesota, there have been a few uh, severe thunderstorm warnings throughout the morning. Now, looking ahead, we'll have some more clouds than sun. This model does underdo the cloud cover a hair. But we'll have a few chances at some showers and storms as that front moves through. Now tonight into tomorrow morning may have some patchy fog developing, but then we have more sunshine and a lot more comfortable air in place, being that we'll have lower humidity and cooler temperatures. But looking ahead to Thursday, we do warm up ever so slightly. Humidity is still going to be on the lower end and winds start to pick up a little bit more out of the southeast. Now for today, temperatures will be on the cooler side of average, but factoring in that humidity, not going to be a very comfortable day in the upper 70s before later on tonight with some drier air moving in. Our temperature is going to cool off a little bit more. And that said, we'll dip to the upper 50s for the most part. Tomorrow likely staying in the 70s in the Cooley region, but we have more sunshine taking us into the end of the work week. But by this weekend, that's where we climb back to the upper 80s, potentially low 90s. More of that humidity works in. We'll have those chances at some showers and storms as well with overnight lows in the upper 60s and daytime highs approaching 90. Now for a Sunshine Award, Liz Hiltz would like to nominate Sergeant Derek Ricci and the Eau Claire County Sheriff's Department and says they make a difference or made a difference this week for an elderly resident. Your time and acts of kindness made memories that will last a lifetime. Thank you for all your service to Eau Claire County. Now, if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com.